What's going on, people? Today leads us in the fight we gorgeous banging out this weekend. What we want to do is give some of you an insight of what it takes whenever you're a fighter and some of the things that you're called upon doing and what does it take to actually pull those things off. You see, we work on our skills on a regular basis and technique. We practice and we rehearse, but this all has to come from somewhere. And where does this all come from? But what I'm about to show you now is a layer of the process right here. You'll see when it comes down to being a champion, you just don't wake up in the morning and just say, I want to be a champion, and then you get a title. There's a process. We call it the educational system for every coach and every fighter, every trainer, and know they're not the exact same thing. They hold different responsibilities for those of you who are not sure and clear on that because you hear both of the terms, but you don't have the gall, the mitigated gall to ask, what's the difference? The process that it takes to get here, I can't tell you the kind of grind that you have to have mentally. I have people reaching out asking, could I be a fighter? And is it too late for me? If you're asking that question, it's already too late for you because when you want something bad enough, you go out and do it. When you're hungry, you go eat. There's a process, as I say, and I'm about to show you these right here, that when you want something bad enough and you want it levels, this, is what we call the levels. This right here is where it all began. This is 2004 Olympics with the Olympic team. And Coach Anthony Bradley and myself right here, we're going out for our first title. We accrued another title here. A lot of you don't quite understand or have seen a lot of things that we've done before you so start seeing us in social media. Well, the reason why you didn't is because this is where we were. We were building the first generation of master boxing. This is 20 years ago almost now. And all of these people played an intricate role. There's Freddie Roach. There's James Tony. There's Julius Fogel. Here's Diego Corrales, Roy Jones Jr., Jimmy Lennon Jr., Donnell Holmes, Sugar Shane Mosley, Andre Ward. All of these people have been in the epicenter of where this thing first began. They all play intricate roles. WBC, the fucking green belt. When I say it once, I say it twice. This is where you get your master's degree in boxing. We getting this work in back in 2009, 2008, 2007, 2006, 2005. Rashad Holloway. We in the ring bumping with Manny Pacquiao. You can't make this up. You feel me? Period. So you're not just following. Now you get a little bit behind the scenes of where this started. Period, point blank. I literally, this night I was shaking. <laughs> literally. I couldn't even stand up. Literally about to faint. Literally about to faint. Because it's so exhausting. But the reason why our shit look different than everybody else's is because I put the kind of blood in to make it that way. And when you can take a talent and you can manifest it and turn it into something unique, 
and turn it into not only a good product, but a brand. It's about how much further you're willing to go than the next man. That's the guy that'll end up with the championship bonikers. George is going for his title again this weekend, defending. Somebody coming to get it. But you gotta have the kind of fortitude, you gotta have the wherewithal, you gotta have the dog inside of you as well in order to reach that peak, that pinnacle. Skills can pay the bills, but you have to have those other components in order for it to come full circle. And you gotta have the fucking years behind you. We not talking heads. We really, truly, for over two decades have been, been putting heads to bed, effectively. So, this is a little bit about fight week. You transfer your mind and you take it to another place. You position yourself mentally above where the guy that's across that fence from you is. The things that have gone into this man right here and this guy right here is the reason why they're gonna become champions because I didn't quit years ago with, what it, with the process. And that's one of the main reasons I say the term. There is no other on this level unless they truly belong. There's very few unicorns on this planet. Some of the grand teachers in the game that still exist Thank you for staying the course and for those who need to learn how to do it the right way because as you can see right here, this is the key to prosperity in this sport. Just make sure you join the force and the team that will help you understand the process if you're a coach. That's one of the main reasons I made sure that I was able to take and pass it down because someone took their information, downloaded me, put it with my natural ability and talents and fortitude and willingness to learn and go through the hard times. And I created that online academy for the coaches and a certification for the trainers who want to really work with fighters. And that's why we do what we do. And that's why this boy right here and this boy right here are gonna be all over your TV set. Trust me, it's because of what came from and the decisions we made on these days. So that's all we got for right now. It's time for us to get in our work and do what we've been doing. Uh, for those who have questions, simply reach out. You know where to find us. Until the next time, be blessed at God's speed. Say a prayer for us, and we out of here. Peace. Share and like the post.